Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life is good. Anyway, let's get right to it. You saw the thumbnail. Bilger and Faddis. What's he talking about? What do these two opposite ends of the spectrum trumpet players have in common? You're not going to believe it. I stumbled across this clip, and it is very, very telling. All right? Let me honk a little bit, and we will uh, get right to it. Double C's and a little Arbin. A little sloppy this morning. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's still this morning. Anyway, Bilger and Faddis. Guys, what's he got up his sleeve now? Now, here's the deal. Uh, I think they're both terrific. What in the world do they have in common? Well, I stumbled across this clip that I'm going to put down below, and you guys probably seen it. Okay, and it is Bilger and Fat is playing. I don't know what the occasion is. I don't know what else they played or whatever, but they were doing uh, soloing both with the West Point concert band. Okay, they're standing outside and they're sort of trading, trading uh, phrases for uh, God Bless America. All right, all right. Anyway, uh, now let me preface this by saying. Guys, I am not hating on Bilger. Not at all. He was actually absolutely a sub in my uh, brass quintet years ago. I think he is a terrific player. He has uh, held down one of the most iconic jobs in the world for quite a long time. And I am not knocking him at all. And also, um, again, I've mentioned this sort of thing before. To compare his chops to Fattis is not fair. Compare anybody's chops to Fattis is not fair, okay? But for our purposes, I think it is very, very interesting to uh, check it out, all right? Actually, now that I mention it, when I was Googling Bilger, uh, up came a uh, Florida address. Has he retired? Um, is there another Dave Bilger in Florida? Um, if he has retired, if anybody's privy to that, please leave the info down below and who took his spot. Be very, very interesting. I am out of the loop at this point in my life, so uh, it's not a big deal. But anyway, I'm interested. Now, if you listen to the clip, and maybe it is time to do it now and then go back and listen to it again. But it is a, God bless America, it's a very, very classically... Uh, arranged tune of this, okay? And again, they're trading back the major uh, the themes. Now, I can't believe that Bilger, principal trumpet of the Philadelphia Orchestra for years, um, Fattis actually sounds more orchestral with a richer sound, certainly less strain in the, in, in the sound, I think it is unbelievable. They're just going back and forth, and to my ear, it is very telling. Now, there is issues with the microphone, okay? So maybe uh, my, my, um, my thoughts will be a little skewed with that. But guys, here's the deal. Actually, go down and listen to it now, and we'll get back, okay? Now, here's the deal. If you look at their chops, and I just Google, I, I just drool over looking at Fattis' chops, 
There is no strain whatsoever. None. Okay? Now, you look at Bilger's chops, and there's a lot of strain. Look at how tight he is. That is what we're hearing. Absolutely 1,000% what we're hearing. Faddis could play in any symphony orchestra in the world with that b chilky B-flat trumpet and the mouthpiece, whatever he's playing, he is not straining. That is what the orchestral guys, I know that they are complaining about when they hear lead guys. There's strain in the tone. You take the strain out of the tone and there is no reason that Herseth couldn't play lead trumpet or Doc Severinsen couldn't play orchestral. Harry James couldn't play. That's just the way it is. And you hear it now. Now, once again, uh, it's not fair. Okay? Uh, but Bilger, and Bilger can, has no chance but to do anything other than play tight and strain in the corners with a Bach mouthpiece and a Bach trumpet. And that's probably a C trumpet that he's playing maybe. I don't know. Okay? But it is very, very interesting to see the contrast in the two chops, number one, and back and forth, back and forth to hear the difference in the tone. And you think Fannis would be the one with the sizzle and the brightness in the tone. That's why I think Bilger's probably playing a C trumpet. Okay? It's not. His chops are dark. His tone is dark and warm and completely relaxed. Bilger sounds uh, not so much. Back and forth. Now, it's not like Bilger played badly at all. Compared to Fattis, I found the comparison startling. And I thought the comparison would be the complete opposite. All right? All right. Check it out and tell me what you think. All right? Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all. Um.